This video is presented by the Liquor and Cannabis Regulation Branch and talks about federal reporting requirements for non-medical cannabis retail stores. The Government of Canada requires that all non-medical cannabis retail stores submit a monthly sales and inventory report. As a licensed cannabis retail store, you must complete your report through the Liquor and Cannabis Licensing Portal by the 10th day of each month. For example, reports for the month of January must be submitted by February 10th. To begin your monthly report, log into the licensing portal at this web address. Next, click on the notifications icon in the top right corner. At the start of each month, you will see a reminder to submit your report for the previous month. Select the license and the month you are reporting for. Complete the fields by entering information about that specific month. You will enter the number of employees who worked at your store for the month, and you will identify the categories of products you have ordered, sold, or received as returns. For each category of products, you will also enter the following information. Your opening inventory, additions to inventory, such as stock purchased and returns taken, deductions from inventory, such as sales or lost product, closing inventory, and sales to consumers. Here are a few tips for completing your monthly report. Tip 1. There is a time limit in the system of 20 minutes. It may be helpful to gather your data together before logging into the system to complete your report. You can also click the Save for Later button after entering each category of information. After 20 minutes, you will be logged out of the system and you will lose any unsaved information you entered. Tip 2. When entering the number of employees, you may see an error message that looks like this. All fields require a number to be entered. If you don't have a number to enter, make sure you enter zero. Tip 3. When entering the details of your inventory, your opening inventory value should match the closing inventory value from the report you submitted last month. If you need to have your previous month's report corrected, email the Liquor and Cannabis Regulation Branch at tracking.reports at gov.bc.ca. Our team can then open your previous month's report so that you can correct it before you move on to complete your current monthly report. When entering your closing inventory, ensure you complete all the fields including the number of units, the value, and the weight. Tip 4. When entering numbers in the online report, avoid entering 0, .00 after any number. Entering 1.23 kilograms is fine, but instead of entering 2.00 kilograms, simply leave it as 2 kilograms. The same applies to any dollar values. Tip 5. When entering any weights for products, remember that this is the weight of the cannabis minus the packaging. You can find the weight information on the product label. The weight of the product should not be confused with the quantity of THC in the product or the equivalency of the product to dried cannabis. All weights entered must be in kilograms. To help determine the product weights of items like beverages or oils, visit our website. Use the website search bar to look for Cannabis Store Reporting Requirements. Tip 6. The report will ask you about domestic reductions to your inventory. This is your sales, and the number in this field should be the same as the number in the Sales to Consumer field. Once you have completed your report, click on the Submit button and you're done with your report for the month. More information can be found on our website. Use the search bar to look for Cannabis Store Reporting Requirements. If you have additional questions, talk to your local inspector or contact the Liquor and Cannabis Regulation Branch.